I'm going to talk a little bit more about bracket notation. Now, we've been writing up to this point um, that the action of an operator A um, on a state, uh, a ket, psi, uh, can be written as another state, another ket, chi. Um, and so that's a mathematical equation which says that the action of an operator on a state gives another state. Now, since um, the thing that's inside the ket, inside the angle bracket, is actually only a label, we might instead choose to write chi as um, just a single ket containing a hat psi. Um, that's another way of writing the same thing. It's perfectly reasonable. Again, it says the state labelled with chi is the result of a acting on psi. So the contents um, of a ket is a state of the system. Um, the, the label we choose for that um, indicates what the system, what that state is. Now, what does this mean? Well, let's think about um, Hermitian conjugates. So we know that when we take the Hermitian conjugate, um, we write this as, let's say, a hat on psi uh, with a dagger is equal to brackets ket chi uh, with a dagger outside. Um, and when we take a Hermitian conjugate of a product, um, in other words, the A acting on the Psi, then we have to reverse the order and we have to apply the Hermitian conjugate. So when we do that, we find that we have bra Psi uh, A hat dagger is equal to bra chi. Um, now, again, we might also have chosen, just thinking about our label up at the top of, of the cat, um, as being a psi inside it, to write this as bra of a acting on psi. Um, in other words, the bra chi is the Hermitian conjugate of the state found by acting on psi with the operator a. If we want to take the a outside, we can see from this, um, you have to put the Hermitian conjugate on. So to take a outside the bra, you have to put on a Hermitian conjugate. And I'm going to write that as HC. Um, if this confuses you, in particular the thing that might be confusing you is the ordering. We've ended up with A acting on the bra from the right-hand side. Um, and this is a, a general principle. Operators act, um, act to the right on a ket, and they act... Oops, I've run out of screen there. I'll, um, just rub that out and rewrite it. So I'll put act to the right and then a cat and operators act to the left on a bra. Um, and remember that when you act, um, then the operator is sitting next to the thing it is operating on, and that's why we have the ordering that we have here. Um, if you are slightly confused by that, if you find that confusing, then think about matrices. Um, a matrix can act on a column vector when the column vector is on its right, and it can act on a row vector when the row vector is on its left. And indeed, when we look at um, the matrix and vector representations of bras and kets and operators, we find that a ket is a column vector and a bra is a row vector. So we've looked just a little bit at bra ket notation. Um, I've introduced the idea of taking an operator inside a ket simply because that's um, we can choose what label we put inside the ket. Um, and we've then thought a little bit about what that means when we take Hermitian conjugates and what it means to bring an operator inside a bra as opposed to bringing it inside a ket.